Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today, we've got the Northern Colorado Bears taking on the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks in a Pac-10 matchup. The Bears need one more victory to become bowl eligible. And they're going to have to do it here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Darrell Stats leads the way at quarterback. Eric Tavares and Darius Mitchell at halfback. Gavin Brady the fullback. Howard Bresnigal at wide receiver. Smokey Callahan at tight end. Mike Heath, Sebastian Hernandez, Will Jefferson on the offensive line. And on defense, the Cooper twin brothers, Deacon and Bully. They're both the safeties. And they're, they've both been pretty exciting, actually, this season so far. And I really want to see them in one more game this year. So let's see if the Bears can go ahead and get a victory. Let's take a look at the Lumberjacks' schedule. They beat the Phoenix 28-17, and they lost three straight, including a loss to Michigan State, Fresno State, who was ranked number one in the country, and San Diego. Then they beat Portland State, lost to Eastern Washington, lost to Southern Utah, lost to Cal Poly. They have had a rough time this season, especially in conference play. Idaho State beat them by one point. UC Davis put up 63 points on them. And this is the final game of the season for both of these squads. Uh, Northern Arizona has no chance at a bowl game. But the Bears just need one more victory. And the Bears on offense first. Eric Tavares gets the carry. Right side picks up the first down inside Lumberjack territory. Down to 10 stats, play action. He's going to roll out right side, and he's got Gavin Brady, the fullback, wide open. He'll pick up 13 yards. Just his fourth catch on the season. He's definitely not a pass catcher. Here's Swain, the third string receiver, getting a catch up to the 11 yard line. Second down and four. Eric Tavares breaks it out to the right side and escapes for the touchdown. That was a crazy looking play, but he made it work. That is his 10th rushing touchdown of the year. That now leads the team for halfbacks. Darrell Stats actually leads the team off together with 13 rushing touchdowns and five fumbles. Eric Tavares only two fumbles on the season. He also has 12 catches, 176 yards, and two scores. And here's a deep shot. Right side caught by Scott. Cooper can't get there. He finally tracks him down inside the five-yard line. What a play. 54-yard bomb. And that is not how you want your defense to start off, especially with only two subscriber players. And there is a touchdown to the tight end, Barry. Cooper Brothers had no chance there. Deacon very close to the deflection, but not close enough. So we are all tied up. Bears have the ball at the 50-yard line. Darrell Stats has a man wide open. It's Smokey Callahan. He's got it inside the 20-yard line. But there is a flag on the play for holding. That'll back them up to their own 40-yard line. First down and 20 now. Stats play action again. Deep shot, right side, Smokey Callahan wide open. Inside the 20-yard line again. Down at the 17. Now second and two from the nine-yard line. Stats, right side, Smokey Callahan. All drive, all him. Touchdown Bears as they take the lead back over the Lumberjacks. Impressive drive that is Smokey Callahan's fifth touchdown reception of the year. And here's an interception. Bully Cooper is going to have himself a pick six. That is his second interception return for a touchdown of the season. And his sixth interception in total. Let's see how far he returned that. About 25 yards. That'll give him 90 return yards on interceptions this season. And it's 21-7 now. Phillips in the shotgun play action, deep shot, right side, and it's caught by Scott. Cooper was in position, just misjudged the ball. Second down and 10, Phillips. All day to throw, deep shot left side, and connects with Adams. Deacon Cooper this time whiffs on the interception attempt. And a huge pickup all the way down to the nine yard line of UNC. First to go from the two yard line, play action, Phillips left side, and connects with Barry for his second touchdown reception of the game. Now fourth and fourth for Northern Colorado. Smokey Callahan, nice catch and a huge hit. Bob broke his ankles. Stats going to throw it again. Rolling out and finds Darius Mitchell wide open at the 37-yard line. First down and more inside the 20-yard line. And believe it or not, that is Darius Mitchell's first reception of the season, and it comes in their 12th game. Definitely underutilized in the passing game, but he is a special teams beast. And here is Smokey Callahan 
with another touchdown reception today. And that will give him six on the year. Darrell Stats now with 14 touchdowns, 12 interceptions on the season. And that was just a perfect route and an even better pass. A minute 45 left here in the first half. Phillips over the middle, wide open is Garrison. What a hit by Bully Cooper. Just put his shoulder right through his soul. Third down and four. And a nice completion to bury the tight end. First down and more. Nice back juke. And a big catch for a first down. Phillips play action. Bully Cooper is going to bring him down. That's his first career sack. And he came through unblocked. Phillips again is going to be dropped for a loss. That'll bring up fourth down and 19 for the Lumberjacks. They punt the football away. Here's Eric Tavares, left side. And he's past the 20 in the open field, past the 30, the 40. And out of bounds at the 46-yard line. My goodness, what a run. Tavares going to go play action now. Smokey Callahan is wide open again, and he has it down at the 26-yard line. He is a monster today, and he's already got six catches. Stats throwing out left side. It's Callahan once again, and he escapes for his third touchdown reception of the game. That'll give him seven on the season. Darrell Stats now with 15 touchdown passes. Just 12 seconds remaining here in the first half. Phillips to throw. Deep shot down the field inside the 10-yard line. Deflected, picked off by Deacon Cooper. And he's going to return this one up the left sideline. Still going. And gets dragged down at the last second by the halfback. Saving the touchdown. The crowd not happy. Deacon Cooper with a great play. His fifth interception of the year. Off of the deflection from his brother, Bully. And we'll go into the half. 35-14. Bears on top. Looking for that bowl eligibility. And on the third quarter kickoff. To start off our second half. Scott on the return. And fumble. And that is recovered by Northern Arizona. And that was Eric Tavares on the force fumble. The Bears, 349 yards of offense. Northern Arizona, 153 with two turnovers. And they're going to start off with play action here. Right side, wide open is Morrow for the first down at the 46-yard line. What a play. They're down at six. Quick pass. Morrow again. Bully Cooper with another tackle. That right side is getting lit up right now. 151 yards through the air for Northern Arizona. Over the middle this time. And that is a catch for White at the one-yard line. And he found this soft spot in the zone in between the Cooper twins. And got it for first and goal. Now second and goal. Phillips wide open is Thompson. Back up tight end. And that is Phillips' third touchdown pass of the game. All of them to tight ends. That'll get them back within two scores here of the Bears. 35-21 on the ensuing kickoff. Back to return. Darius Mitchell from the end zone. And he's going to return it up the left sideline. Breaks the tackle. He's going to fumble the football. And that is recovered by the Lumberjacks. And that is Mitchell's seventh fumble of the year. And just like that, the Lumberjacks are going to punch it in for the score. And they are now within one touchdown of Northern Colorado. Eric Tavares up the middle. First down and more. Picks up maybe 15. He's averaging 8.6 yards per carry today on 17 attempts. Option play, stats left side, pitches out last second. Darius Mitchell, nice broken tackle and a first down out of bounds with 39. Mitchell gets to carry up the middle. Open field, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. He just exploded through the hole and found his way into the end zone for six. That was Darius Mitchell's 10th rushing touchdown of the season. He leads the team in rushing yards with over 1,100. And here's a nice stiff arm on Bully Cooper. Garrison is loose. Stiff arms Deacon Cooper. And Gavin Brady <laughs> saves the touchdown. Or is that Gavin Brady? My goodness. Fullback out there making some plays on defense. The Cooper twins both got stiff armed into oblivion. And the Lumberjacks settle for a field goal on that drive. They're going to make it 42 31. Down 11 points as we head into the fourth quarter now. Phillips to throw it. Deep shot down the middle of the field. Picked off again. Deacon Cooper has himself another interception today. That's his second. That'll give him six on the season. Tying his brother, Bully. Another huge play. These safeties are flying all around the field. And they have just been so fun to watch. Third down and six now for the Bears. Stats going to throw it. No, he's going to roll out. 
Pulls up, throws it. Smokey Callahan's got it. He has been so huge for them today. I think that was his eighth reception of the game. Stats, deep shot. Left side, Smokey Callahan has another one for another touchdown. That is his fourth touchdown reception of the game. Have yourself a day, Smokey Callahan. Eight touchdown receptions this year, four in one game. Insane numbers. And look at that beautiful pass from Darrell Stats. He now has 16 touchdowns with 12 interceptions on the year. 49-31, fourth down and 10. Deep pass, and it's deflected away by Bully Cooper. Crowd not liking that. And there is three minutes left on the clock. Tavares gets a carry, breaks the tackle, still going. And inside the 15-yard line, first down. And they're going to go play action again here. Gavin Brady is wide open. Can he find the end zone? No, he can't. He gets taken down at the four-yard line. Second down and two from the four. Stats on the option. He has himself a rushing touchdown. Now his fifth touchdown of the game. 14th rushing touchdown of the season. And the fans starting to file out of the stands now. That was just way too easy. Third down and 23. After a clipping call, here's another interception for Bully Cooper. His seventh of the year. And the Cooper Twins combined for four picks today. Very impressive game for them as... UNC solidifies themselves as bowl eligible. And what a crazy season it's been for them. It looked like they were going to lose probably 10 games this year. And they turned it around, had some crazy upset wins. And they are 6-6, six and six, ready for the bowl season. So congratulations to Northern Colorado, finally becoming bowl eligible this year. Just a crazy turnaround for them. They finally figured out how their offense worked around the third or fourth game and started to get some wins. 544 yards of offense, 301 yards on the ground, 243 through the air. The rough stats was absolutely perfect today at the quarterback position. Smokey Callahan was huge for them as well. Four touchdown catches. Just a monster. He's pretty much unguardable. He's so big. He's so fast. And he rarely drops passes. In 12 games, he only has three drops. 28 points in the second quarter was really the big difference in this game. The Bears just exploded in that quarter. Stats, 76% completion percentage today. Three rushing touchdowns, all for different players. Tavares, Mitchell, and Stats, each with a touchdown run. 12 broken tackles today for Eric Tavares. Mitchell with four and a fumble. That'll give him seven fumbles this year. Smokey Callahan, probably the best game out of a tight end you'll see this whole season. Nine catches, 185 yards, four scores. Mike Heath, 17 pancakes. That's going to give him 88 on the season, but he has allowed eight sacks this year. So if he gets that number down a little bit and keeps his pancakes up, you'll see him on the best offensive, alignment, um, offensive lineman awards next season. Defense played pretty good. The Cooper brothers, of course, balled out. Holy Cooper gets his first career sack. He also had two picks and a pick six. Deacon Cooper, two interceptions as well. Holy Cooper with three pancakes. Or not three pancakes, three pass deflections. Of course, the defensive touchdown. No field goals today for David Barr. He had a 43-yard punt. Had a couple nice kick returns today for Cooper and Bresnagal. Nothing crazy, though. No punt returns. Players of the game. Callahan, Bully Cooper, Darrell Stats, Barry, Barron, and Phillips for Northern Arizona as they drop their ninth game of the year. Our next Bears football game, they'll be in the bowl season, so we will see them one more time in this season. Our next game, which will be out later today, North Dakota State takes on Sam Houston State. Looking for bowl eligibility as well. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.